Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have my April empties video today and if my background looks a little bit different, it's because I am traveling for work and I just had a little extra time to sit down and film. And yes, I did bring my empty beauty trash with me. I had just a Target bag full, so um, I thought I would throw it in my car. Um, I drove, I didn't fly, so I had, a, you know, I could take another little extra bag and um, I knew I would have some time to film, so I thought let's kill two birds with one stone. So let's just get into it. I will let you know my thoughts on these products and if I would repurchase them or not. So the first thing I have, and I'm just going to pull them out at random out of this bag, um, I went through two a two pack of the vanilla coconut wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I really do enjoy the wallflowers. I probably wouldn't repurchase this vanilla coconut scent. It was just okay to me. Um, I like other scents better, so I won't repurchase the scent, but I do like those wallflowers. I went through this Rusk Thermal Flat Iron Spray, and I got this at TJ Maxx for $9.99. It's originally $18. And this was an interesting spray. It was kind of, um, it has argon oil in it, so it was a little more oily. And um, it didn't have like as fine of a mist as some of the other flat iron sprays that I've used. And I didn't like it at first, but it definitely grew on me, and I thought that it did a really great job of protecting my hair. So I would definitely purchase this again if I saw this at TJ Maxx. So that was really good. I went through this Caress Evenly Gorgeous Burnt Brown Sugar and Carite Butter Exfoliating Body Wash. Um, I know that a lot of people really love this. Uh, I didn't really love it. The scent was just kind of neutral and I didn't like the exfoliating beads in it. I thought it kind of almost made me feel a little bit dirty. So I wouldn't repurchase this again. I know that they've discontinued this specific one. They've kind of repackaged it and changed the formula to take out the exfoliating beads. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't get this scent again. I went through a Bath & Body Works Beautiful Day bubble bath. I really liked this scent. I purchased this at a semi-annual sale a couple of years ago and I would totally purchase this scent again um, in a bubble bath. I went through a few uh, wax melts, so the Better Homes and Gardens Salted Pistachio Sorbet. This was really yummy. I would repurchase that. The Sensational's Black Raspberry Vanilla, just okay to me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get this scent again. And then the Better Homes and Gardens Soft Cashmere Amber. This was just kind of a almost florally. Um, fresh type scent, but I wouldn't purchase that again. Out of all of them, I think I would get the salted pistachio sorbet again. I went through a Bath and Body Works aromatherapy orange ginger sugar scrub. I love these sugar scrubs from Bath and Body Works. I think they're really exfoliating. Um, I would repurchase this uh, scrub again and this scent. I think it's great. I have one more of the scent in my closet in my bathroom. Um, so I think this is a really good scent for the aromatherapy line. I used up a lighter. I get those at the dollar store. I went through a Burt's Bees Baby Bee Shampoo and Wash. It says tear free, but this really burned my son's eyes. Um, he would always cry when this would go in his eyes. So I wouldn't repurchase this again. I, we prefer the Johnson's and Johnson's. We ended up just using the remainder of this for bubble bath. And we have one more that we're using as bubble bath right now. So I wouldn't repurchase that. I went through a couple of hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. I always get the gentle foaming hand soaps. Um, that's just what I prefer. We went through the Paris Pink Champagne and Tulips. I bought this for the packaging. I didn't really care for the scent, so I wouldn't repurchase that scent again. Um, the Cherry Woods was really nice. I would totally get that scent again. And the Salted Caramel was great. Reminds me of Christmas time. Um, this was at my husband's sink, and it takes him a little longer to go through hand soaps because he's using the main like guest bathroom more than he uses the master bath. I went through an Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. I really liked this. Um, this has natural soy in it, and it says it helps you shave your legs less often. I don't think that's the case, but um, I liked it as a shave gel, and I would purchase that again. I went through a Method All-Purpose Pomegranate Cleaner. Um, I liked this. I liked the scent. I would definitely purchase that scent again, and I'm really loving the Method um, home products. I went through an Island Essentials Agua Pui Intensive Hair Treatment. I think I got this in Allure, in an Allure Beauty Thrills box um, several years ago, and this was good. I wouldn't 
hunt this out to purchase it again, but I thought it did a nice job for an intensive conditioning treatment for my hair. And um, yeah, if you saw this somewhere, I would I would say pick it up and give it a try, but I don't think you need to go hunt it down. <clears throat> I went through a Marvis toothpaste. It was a three pack. I got this at Sephora. I was just curious about this brand of toothpaste because it came in cute packaging. I think I actually have, actually I have two of the toothpastes in here. So this was the little green packaging and it was in the classic strong mint and then the little orange in the ginger mint. And um, they were fun scents, and again, the packaging I think is really cute, but I didn't think they did an exceptional job of cleaning my teeth, and I prefer the toothpaste with the, with the whitening. So I would, um, I probably wouldn't buy those again unless, you know, I don't know, unless they were on sale or something. Story of my life. Um, I went through an Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I really like this. I would totally repurchase this again. I have a two pack that I bought at the VIB Sephora sale in the winter that I'm working through. Um, I think I want to try the Kat Von D Locket spray and yeah, I totally would repurchase this, but again, I still have a couple bottles and I want to try some other ones in between, but this is a really good one if you've never tried it and I would recommend getting it in the two pack um, at the VIB sale because you can get two for almost the price of one. I went through a back, uh, pocket back from Bath & Body Works in Hoot. This was just a cute Halloween packaging. I think it was like a green um, apple scent or pear, eerie pear is what it said. Um, I don't care what the scent is on the pocket backs. Typically, I usually just buy them for the packaging, so I would buy Halloween packaging again. I went through a peach mango Better Homes and Gardens uh, wax melts. I love anything peach. This was pretty good. I have the peach, um, peach and tea scent, I think right now from Better Homes and Gardens melting in my kitchen, and I prefer that peach over this one, but this one was nice, so sniff that out if you like peach. I went through this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint Foundation. This was actually really good. Um, it was kind of all the rage for a little while recently on um, YouTube. People were comparing it to another higher end, I can't think of which one they were comparing it to, but it has a doe foot applicator, which at first I didn't really like it. I thought it was kind of weird, but um, I grew to really like it. It's pretty easy just to kind of put it on your face and then either rub it in with your fingers or use a brush to buff it into your skin. Um, again, I thought it was great. It did give me a dewy finish. It had pretty good coverage. I actually would use it with this Argan Oil BB Cream. Um, this was a little bit light for me on its own, but when I mixed the two together, um, I would put this on first and then add this on top. It was a great color for my skin. Um, and this was the Physician's Formula BB Cream. So both products I really liked and I would purchase them again. Uh, this has an SPF 30 in it, so that was nice. And yeah, they're both drugstores, so they're affordable and definitely worth a try. I went through an Epice, I think that's how you say it, Epice. Purifying Exfoliant. I think I got this in a birch box a long time ago. It was just okay. Um, it was a face cleanser exfoliant. I wouldn't purchase it again. I went through several other wallflowers. So Juniper Berry and Pine. I went through a couple of those. This was a really good scent that came out this winter. Um, and I would definitely purchase that in the wallflower form again. Um, I also went through a candle in that same scent. So came in the really pretty purple packaging. This was a great scent. I probably would purchase it again if it was like at the semi-annual sale or something. And then um, the other candle I went through was the Snowflakes and Citrus. This was just an okay citrus scent to me. I don't really um, correlate citrus with winter time, so, but I think I got it at the $8 candle sale. Um, so I, again, I would pay $8 for it just for a citrus scent, but it wasn't like a Christmassy or winter scent for me. And then the other two wallflowers I went through were the lemon mint tea. I really liked this. And this one might have been one of the coconut two pack it was. So we already talked about that one. I went through a Pantene Blowout Extend Dry Shampoo. Um, I didn't like this really at all. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't repurchase it. And you can hear there's actually some left in it. It just stopped spraying for me. So yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't repurchase that. I went through a travel size Dove Deep Moisture Body Wash. I think this came in a Target Beauty box. Um, I love Dove products. I love the body washes. 
this was fine. I would, you know, repurchase that. I went through a Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. Um, this was a nice moisturizer. I think I got this in, I don't know what I got it, maybe from Sephora as a 100 point perk a while ago. And this was a great moisturizer. I probably wouldn't pay full price for it just because there's so many other moisturizers that I want to try. But certainly if it was a 100 point perk again, I would, um, I would try it out. So... Um, I also went through this Touch and Soul Stretch Stretch X Stretch Lash Effect Mascara. Uh, I think I got this in some sort of beauty box. I didn't like it. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't even know where you can buy that brand. I went through the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. This was really good. It added great volume to my lashes. It started to flake towards the end, so I had to um, get rid of it, but it was a good one, and I would consider purchasing this. It just had... Um, a rubber, rubber wand, so that was a good mascara. I went through the Skin Olive and Enzyme Cleanser. It was just a um, pretty generic cleanser. I got it in a birch box at some point, so yeah, it was okay. I wouldn't purchase that again. Let's see. I went through this MAC Strobe Cream. I've had this for years, probably to the point that I should have just thrown it away, but it was still working. It didn't smell funny or anything like that, but this is nice. It adds kind of a nice um, luminosity to your face if you put it on before you put on your foundation, and I would consider purchasing this again. I have the Becca, um, what is it, the Becca Backlight Primer that um, I use sometimes, and I really enjoy that, so I don't need this right now, but in the future, I would totally purchase this MAC Strobe Cream again. And I have to take this back home with me because I'm going to back, back to Mac it. Um, let's see. I've got some sample products, but let me just finish up with this bag first. So I used, I dropped a product. Let's see. I used this Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. Um, this was in the color Soft Brown. This was great. It's similar to the Anastasia Brow Pencil. It has the spoolie on one end like this, and then it has the kind of marker pencil on the other end. It's a fatter tip than some of the other brow pencils. If there's nothing left in there, I would roll it up, but you can kind of see there. So um, you have to be a little bit more careful when you're lining your brows, but I thought this was nice, and especially for a few bucks at the drugstore, I would totally purchase that again. Um, I used up this John Frieda Volume Shampoo. This was just fine. I don't have an opinion on that. I'm throwing this away. This is a Staniac by The Balm. Um, I didn't like this, and the color was awful, so I wouldn't purchase that. And I used up a Harvey Prince Journey perfume sample. This smelled nice. I have so many perfume samples that I'm totally not in the market to purchase any perfume, although I do have my eyes on a Jo Malone perfume, so we'll see if that makes it into my collection at some point. But again, this was nice, but you know, nothing that I would go buy a full size of. And let me grab this. Let me just grab this. This is the Tarte um, exfoliating, stick, uh, exfoliating Stick. I got it in a Play by Sephora box. And you can see here that there's, I kind of dug out what was left, but it was hard to get everything. Um, it was basically a stick that you would roll up. You could rub it on your face to exfoliate your skin. It was like charcoal. You would rinse it off. Um, this was nice, but... I think charcoal products are just really messy, and I find that when I use them, I don't really um, love that part of it, so I wouldn't repurchase this, but um, it ex exfoliated nicely, and, you know, Tarte makes some good products, so you might check that out if, um, if you're not put off by charcoal products. And then I have a whole bag of samples, so let me just go through. I went through a Lush bath balm. I really like Lush bath balms. They're pretty expensive, so I only get them occasionally. Um... Like when I go out of town on business, if I go shopping, there's a Lush here. I'm in Sacramento currently. Um, so I might hit up Lush and get a few more bath bombs. This was my last one that I had, but I usually try to cut them in two and use them for two different baths. Um, I think this was just like the Holly Jolly Christmas one from Christmas time. So that was good. I would repurchase that. I went through, of course, a package of the Swispers cotton. I get these at Costco. You know, I love the cotton clouds. That's what I prefer. You can get those on Amazon, but these do, you know, a fine job. I went through several of these Dr. Dennis Gross 
alpha beta peels. It's the two-step process. Sometimes I feel like a broken record because I use the same products every month, but um, the first alpha beta peel, you rub on your face, you wait 90 seconds, and then you do the other one, and um, it really does great things for your skin. I have a few more of these left, and then I'm totally out. I may consider purchasing them at the winter Sephora VIB sale. Um, I used an IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. I have several more of these little samples. Um, this was nice. I'm not in the market for eye cream right now. I have a couple that um, I need to use up and a few more of these samples, but I would consider purchasing a full size of this when I'm ready for a new eye cream. I used a Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This was too small of a sample size to really get a good feel for if I liked it or not. So. I would need to use a bigger size of that. Let's see. I used a couple of these Cafe Mocha Fusion Sheet Masks. So these are from TJ Maxx. I love sheet masks. I think they're really fun. I don't see a difference between like one from another. So I just think they're fun to have on hand when you really want to treat yourself or like if I'm out of town for work um, and I have time to do a sheet mask, I'll do that in the evening. So these were nice if you saw these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or home goods, I would totally pick up more of those. Oh, these. These are the Up and Up brand exfoliating cleansing wipes from Target, and these are in the apricot set. And I saved one in here because I wanted to show everybody what it looked like. I loved these, and I love the Kirkland brand exfoliating, or the Kirkland brand makeup wipes, um, and I haven't really found another brand that I like as much, but these, I do like the Almay Purple package as well for makeup wipes. These are definitely in my top three, and I think I think they've taken the place like second spot. So I like the Kirkland makeup wipes. These are number two, and then number three, I like the Almay purple packaging. But these wipes have little, you can see, kind of exfoliating bumps on the wipe itself, and it really does help to. I, my face feels cleaner when I take my makeup off off with these. So I would totally repurchase these, um, and I would recommend you seeking them out and giving them a try because I think they're a great uh, makeup remover. I went through another sheet mask. This was the Moisturizing Spa Treatment Mask. This was an interesting one because um, most sheet masks, once you take them off, you can kind of just rub in the excess product onto your face. This one, you actually had to rinse off what was left, so I didn't like that as much. I probably won't repurchase this one, and I'll probably pay attention when I do buy sheet masks whether or not you have to rinse it off or just rub it in because it's just an extra step. I just prefer to like pat the excess um, formula onto my skin and let it, you know, have additional benefits. A couple of water wipes, packages of water wipes. We love those. We use those for our sun. It's like 0.1% grapeseed oil extract and the rest is water. They're very gentle and they do a good job. Um, for getting everything off. So a couple more things, a pomegranate eye mask. This is infused with pomegranate green tea extracts. It's to restore vibrancy and moisture and reduce the signs of fatigue. This was a five pack I got at TJ Maxx. I really liked these. I have several of these left um, and I would repurchase them again uh, if I saw them at TJ Maxx. Cheaper than purchasing the ones from Sephora and I think they work just as well. I went through a sample of the L'Occitane um, Almond Milk Concentrate body butter. This was good. I don't like that scent by L'Occitane, so I won't repurchase that, but again, it was a sample, so I used it up. And the last thing I have is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. This was, I think, a packet that I got two uses out of. I do really love this eye cream. I've gone through um, a full size of this before, and it is one that I would repurchase a full size of. So those are my empties for the month of April. What have you guys used up? Um, are you having a great spring? I've been loving the weather. It's been a little cooler where I'm from. It gets really hot really early, and we've had kind of an extended spring, so I've been enjoying that. But um, it's almost summer, and I'm really looking forward to summer as well. But I hope you guys are well. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.